Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to Frankie's Tarot. I will be doing their current feelings towards you. So whoever you are thinking about, involved with, communicating with, or if you're single, whoever's coming towards you, whatever comes up, this is their current feelings towards you. Please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon down below and leave comments. Let me know if this resonates. I'd love to hear it. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. There's always another one. I also provided the link to my website down below if you'd like a personal lead. All right, universe. Clear messages on my Sagittarians person's current feelings towards my Sagittarians. Clear, precise messages. What do they need to know? What do my Sagittarians need to know? Alrighty, I'm not taking reversals because when I get the card, I read them however they come to me, whether it's reversed or not. Current energy, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, somebody could be working a lot. Maybe your person is a workaholic. Alrighty. Um, so let's just dive into this one because this one can go in a couple different directions. So we have your person here, the two of cups, your person could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio or could be a Virgo Capricorn, um, Taurus. Sorry about that. Alrighty. But we have the two of cups, a relationship. We have 10 of swords, the way they're feeling 10 of swords, um, well, we're going to dive into this one. I'm going to clarify, but this person could be looking elsewhere or just not paying attention or um, just taking time to their selves, themselves, okay? But let's see. Let's get into this. And we have what blocks them from you, what you're doing that may um, be blocking this relationship. This is how they feel about you, what you're doing. Um, or this could be what they want you to do. Okay, maybe they want you to take a step back as well. Okay, because now you have two people here stepping back, taking a step away. Doesn't mean ending, just means a step away. All right, and this is a soulmate connection. This person is, you are in a relationship, it looks as if, with this person. All right, we have um, the way they see you. They might see you as argumentative. Or um, maybe you have competition. Or they may see you as somebody um, they want to commit with or level up to a higher commitment, level of commitment. But I'll clarify these with some clarifiers before I get too far into that. I'm taking a couple cards here for the outcome. So we have the moon and we have the wheel. So we have dreams um, and visions or we have fears that maybe block in dreams and visions or just fears in general. But it's a very good, it's upright. And then we have the wheel. So a turning of events or somebody needs to take a risk or somebody is afraid to take a risk. That's the message I get, but I want to clarify. Alrighty. So your person here could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't focus too hard on the signs. They could just have the qualities at the moment of these signs. And it could be just the energy surrounding them. All right. But you're in a relationship. You could be separated at the moment. And by separated does not have to mean completely broken up. It looks like you may be, your person may have asked for time to step away. Maybe there's been a lot of problems um, going on. Maybe there's problems going on financially. Here's that card here. Maybe somebody's working too much and there's not a balance in the relationship. All right. But that's this person. Your person has taken a step away or is not paying attention at the moment to what's really going on in the situation. I want to clarify this because I'm getting too many messages right there. It just started coming up. Too many messages. Um... Universe, please clarify my Sag's person. Um, the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords here. The situation. Somebody is turned away at the moment. Somebody could be walking away. Somebody could be just taking time off. But what is the message here? What 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 is the, are these cards trying to say? All right. The Knight of Pentacles. So that's slow motion. The Knight is the slowest Knight in the deck. Not a bad thing. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, all right? We have the Two of Pentacles, so juggling. Your person is juggling 
I'm gonna I'm going to say work and the relationship and that's why this card is coming up your person is juggling working too much maybe and the relationship with you and they're not paying attention um at the moment to you we have the knight of wands okay so this could be two people now i'm getting a message of two people we have well no 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 sorry this knight of wands is your energy sagittarian Okay, so your person is clearly, clearly juggling work and the relationship with you. They need to make a decision here or have to, they have to do something to create a balance between the two of you. So it, you, may be, you may be connecting with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting strong earth here, um, but that's clear. It shows you're moving slow. But we have the fast acting knight of wands here, the Sag. You want this to move faster, my, my Sag friends. You want this to move faster. Your person is juggling. Your person is juggling a decision. That's why there is a little bit of maybe a little, little com uh, communication. And there could be a slight separation in the relationship. Or just indifference is the word I'm looking for. Indifference. All right. So... That clarifies that there's definitely indifference and a slight separation maybe very little communication we have the hanged man this is what what your person this is what your person sees as a block or wants to see happen um, they want something that they want you to do maybe take a step back and really um, just pause at the moment and um, figure things out they may need you to hold on for a second and come at this from a different perspective. That's that's the message. They may need you to come at this situation from a different perspective and look at it how they see things. Because right now it could be a tough decision for them, um, work and relationship. Maybe they have a lot going on at work or they're carrying a heavy burden, but they are asking that you look at this from a different perspective and maybe take a step back, pause with your emotions and give this, give this a chance here. <clears throat> Alrighty, I will clarify the hanged man. Let's clarify the hanged man. Let's clarify the hanged man universe. We have two of wands. Yes, there's a, there's a decision. There's a there's a a split in the road. There's a fork ahead. Division. Whatever. However you want to look at it. Okay, your person sees. You have one path you can go. You, you're going to get to the same place, all right? You can either back up a little bit and give them a little bit of space and come from a different perspective, or you can go the other way and just continue to argue and fight over this decision, but it's just going to cause stress in the relationship. Um, they want you to step back and look at the situation from both perspectives, okay? And decide, clearly decide which way you want to go with this. Um, I think they're just asking you for a break. I think they're just saying, can you, can you come at, can you come back a step and look at it from my perspective and give me a break at the moment? Just give me a little bit of break. I have too much on my shoulders. Okay. That's what they're asking of you. This is the block that may be happening. You may not be doing this. You may not be doing this at the current moment, but they need you to do this for them. All right. How they see you is maybe argumentative over petty things. They may see you arguing constantly over petty things. Let's clarify this five of wands, please. Let's clarify how they see my Sag, because that is Sag energy. That is fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. But they see, they still see you as a commitment. They still see, they want to level up with you. We have the page of pentacles. So we have good news, okay? We definitely have good news here. We have the Nine of Swords. So stress and anxiety. Stress and anxiety. Um, they, I think you don't trust or they, they, they see you stressing out and you're not trusting them. That's what they're seeing. They're seeing um, you're causing... You're causing anxiety in yourself. You're stressing over this situation. Um, this page of pentacles here. You're, you're not trusting. You're not trusting that 
um, that this relationship is is going, you know, it's going to move in the right direction. It's going to level up. And you're causing arguments like you need, seems as if you need more attention or you need more from this person and it's stressing you out. But the Page of Pentacles is, is good news. It's opportunities. It's opportunities and it's communication and it's communication of good news. They, they want to tell you that they still want to be in this relationship, but they still care and they're still there. But they see you in a very, com you know, a negative headspace. They see you in a negative headspace. They may try to communicate with you soon. Um, but I think that's why they want you to step back into this space and to look at things from their perspective. They may be juggling opportunities that are coming their way and they may be having a I'm getting this message they could be juggling something at work um, where they may have another opportunity to um, something better may be coming their way and that could be good news that's coming your way that will relieve some of this stress maybe that's why you you fight a lot is because they work too much or there's um, they're always focused on some on something to do with work and it's stressing you out. But I think that they have an opportunity coming their way because the Page of Pentacles. And that's what they're juggling here. Okay, my friends? We have the final outcome is the wheel. The turn of events. Fears. Your fear could be that this isn't going to happen. That this person that you may... Um, they may not choose you or you may not get this communication. But remember, they they came up as two of cups. They came up as your soulmate. They came up as somebody in a relationship with you who wants to communicate relationship with you, uh, have, have, have a relationship with you. They want to communicate. All right. Let's clarify, um, the, the wheel, the outcome. I want more messages for the outcome. Okay. Let's get more messages for this outcome for my Sagas. One more shuffle, please. There's definitely a turn of events coming and it could be with that juggling of a decision that, that your person needs to make. Um, their dreams, it might be what they, they've been envisioning. Let me see. We have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, my friends. So you're fearing something in this relationship, okay? You're fearing something. But I think if there's a turn of events that happens and your person makes the decision, makes a decision that makes you happy, and then the nine of cups. It's their wish fulfillment, Okay. We also have the Six of Pentacles, which is success. So that is telling me something is paying off. Whatever decision that they had to make here, maybe two opportunities, and they chose another job or chose another opportunity. But they bring that good news to you here. But you're stressed out and you're stressing them out in the meantime. You are stressing them out in the meantime. And they are asking you, to give them a break, basically. Step back, give them a break. Look at it from their perspective. Patience, patience, okay? And I'm getting for the final outcome. Take a risk, a turn of event. Your fears could be getting in the way here, but this is dreams, visions, you know? Um, things that you can't see yet coming true. This is his or her um, opportunity. The, it's, there's a turn of events. They're taking a chance. Their dreams are coming true because the wish fulfillment here, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, the six of pentacles is success in work, stability. Okay, my friends, that's pretty clear. Just a little bit of patience, time and patience will bring this relationship back to where you want to be, back to where you want to be. Time and patience will bring this relationship closer. Okay, my friends. Please comment below and let me know if this resonates. I love you guys. Take care.